So what's pulling the shop today is a C7Z06. It has an astonishing 650 horsepower with 650 foot-pounds of torque. It does zero to 60 in 3.4 seconds, and it was touted as being a very track compliant vehicle. But as with any platform, once you start pushing it hard on the street or track, problems will surface. And the cooling system of the Z06 definitely surfaced pretty quick. So it was on our radar to come up with a solution to cool this problem. So with high power comes high heat. And the C7 has plenty of ducts and scoops in the front to try to get as much airflow to the rad as possible. But on the OEM unit, it's just not enough. So we set out to design a rad that fits in this tight space and can maximize airflow through the core. Knowing the supercharger's heat exchanger sits right in front of the rad, we had to test several tube and fin designs to optimize the airflow through our own core. The one thing we absolutely have to measure accurately is the coolant temps in and out of the rad. Even on the factory OEM unit, we need to take a baseline so we know we're going the right direction with our design. So we cut the factory hoses, we put our own dedicated temp sensors in the path of the coolant. We measure on the inlet and the outlet with the AEM AQ1. We log all this data on all the dyno runs and then we save everything for the engineering team to digest it later. So now that we've prepped the cooling system, we have to prep the oiling system. GM recommends we change to a heavier weight oil for track use. Now, we didn't go to the track, but we're gonna simulate the track type of load on the car on the dyno. So it's gonna be an extreme environment. And we took every safety precaution to make sure we got the most accurate data that's still safe for the car. So now let's get this thing bolted up to our dyno. So today we have our C7 strapped to the dyno and we're gonna do some testing on our new rad. It's our sample we just got in, so we're gonna really put it through its paces. It's almost twice as thick as the factory rad, so it should really help on keeping this thing cool. And to go over all the features in this thing, I'm gonna let you talk to the engineer on the project. This particular core offers a lot of great benefits. One of them is a tighter fin pitch. The fin pitch being tighter or shorter means that we can pack more rows and more fins into this rad, and that gives you better cooling. That's going to help you out, especially if you have a supercharged car with a giant heat exchanger in front that's limiting the amount of cold air that's going to get to your rad. Finally, you might notice the upper core support here. It's flipped the other way around. We did that so that way we could pack even more rows of cooling into this and not have these bars sticking up and blocking and interfering with the fitment of this rad. What we want to do is we want to put this in the car and run it through its paces. So our testing results show our highly engineered rad showed a lower global temperature across the entire RPM band. It also has over 37% increase in core volume. So our upgraded unit helps ensure you have optimal cooling temperatures through any driving scenario. So as you can see, many steps are taken to design, test, and achieve the best cooling solution for your C7. So when you're ready to keep this American icon cool, we got you covered.